Right, what's going on boys? So, if you don't know who Inaba is, pretty much, back in the day, like 2017, 18, he grew off of commentary, you know, making Anision videos, whatever was popular back then, and it was actually a pretty decent commentary channel. And I'd say his videos were good up until around 2019, which is when he kind of flipped over to the T side. And I don't need to explain why the T side's bad, I've done that in plenty of videos before, Go back and watch him. And since he picked up this kind of tea style of video instead of commentary, he's got a tea audience, obviously. And you know what the tea audience is like? They love going after mentally ill people, and they got mad at me for saying that last time, but I don't care. Fuck you. It's true. Stay mad. So to please that audience, what does he do? He does the typical tea move, and he goes after Eugene Cooney. Who's surprised? I'm fucking not. So he's made about a total of six videos on her. We're going to be looking at just one of those today, because if we looked at all six... This video will be about two hours long because something this cunt tends to do is just ramble about fuck all during the videos to make them longer because longer watch time equals more money. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into why this guy's a cunt. I'm a gangster and I love to rip. All the gangsters in the UK look up the name. The talk I sell is pure strict as fuck. So the video we're going to be looking at is uh, Eugene Cooney needs serious help. Not to be confused with the other video called Eugene Cooney needs serious help because, you know, He's so original, he used the same title twice. But what I'm trying to say here, people, is that there are multiple forms of problematic people, and it can get complex in very different situations. With somebody like Jake Paul, I feel like the main problem with him is, uh, you know, he's Jake Paul. But then with somebody like Eugenia Cooney, it is much, much more complicated. Hey guys, it's Eugenia. So today I'm going to be doing a video that I'm really excited to do. So today I'm going to be doing a video trying the new Jeffree Star Blood Money Palette. Now I don't necessarily think that you need an introduction here. Eugenia Cooney is somebody that at this point I feel like most of us on this channel know. She is a dubbed makeup channel. What was the need for the, the quotation marks? She is a makeup channel, a makeup slash fashion channel. Is she not allowed to be one of those because she's ill? She has an eating disorder. Guys, public service announcement. If you have an eating disorder, you, you, you can't be a normal YouTuber. Or at least you can't dub yourself as one, as this cunt says. You have to be known as an anorexic makeup YouTuber instead of just a makeup YouTuber. So just off the bat with that shit, you can see this guy's intentions with the video. Let's just fucking carry on. You know, at face value, it seems fine. You know, a makeup channel, they upload more than me once a week, and yeah, it's, it's absolutely fine until, I don't know, you basically just click on one of her videos and you can basically discover that there is a problem here. A much more darker, underlining problem. What is that problem? Please explain. Oh, she's gonna hurt a young, impressionable audience. Oh, she's got anorexia while making fucking normal videos. What's the problem? Like, this is something T channels tend to do quite a lot, is they just make something out of fucking nothing. While trying to be as inclusive as possible, as they claim, they're actually pretty exclusive. They're separating mentally ill content creators from every other one just because they're mentally ill and you're dangerous you're dangerous to your viewers apparently so in today's video i do want to cover the issue of me believing that eugenia's channel is genuinely dangerous for eugenia's fans and for eugenia and just a lot of people out there but i also want to speak about the people who in my opinion have vehemently taken advantage of eugenia's issues and her problems and converted that into genuinely hateful videos whilst putting on a facade of caring about her you mean your videos, Anna. That's literally your video right now. Oh, guys, let's save Eugenia Cooney whilst also saying <laughs> she needs disclaimers and shit at the start of her videos. She body checks constantly. She's pro-Anna just because she's anorexic while posting videos. Yeah, you really care, dude. I mean, he cares so much that he made six videos on it. And those six videos, if he cut out all the fucking tangents and rambling that no one gives a shit about out of them, could uh, all be put down into maybe a 30-minute video, but because this cunt doesn't shut up, there's about six of them. And then obviously there are the um, the documentaries, which uh, we're now gonna go into. Because in July of 2019, only five months after Eugenia publicly stated that she is now getting help, Shane Dawson released a documentary titled The Return of Eugenia Cooney, where he went to Eugenia's house, confronted her, only five months after she said that she is getting help. And my obvious issue, and I think a lot of other people's issue, is that this documentary was released, as I just said, 
only around six or five months after a very terrible situation involving Eugenia and her getting help. You have to think about the mental strain this could put on Eugenia only a few months after getting help, her then being put on some YouTube channel which is getting 30 million views. And I fully understand that Eugenia did invite Shane into her home to discuss these issues, but at the end of the day, in multiple situations involving Eugenia, she has denied having an ED and simply said that she is naturally skinny, her condition is natural. So that statement right there just proves to me that this guy did absolutely zero fucking research for any of his videos at all. If he just did one quick Google search, he would realise that that's what a fucking eating disorder is. The reason she says she's naturally skinny is because when you have an eating disorder, you refuse to believe you have a problem, you see yourself in a different way to how others see you. Literally, all it took was one Google search and you'll find this. People who have anorexia try to keep their weight as low as possible by not eating enough food or exercising too much, or both. This can make them very ill because they start to starve obviously. They often have distorted image of their bodies thinking they're fat even when they're underweight. There we go, all six of the other videos were fucking pointless. Pretty much what I and a bunch of all these other T channels do is they say, oh, Eugenia refuses to get help. She thinks being skinny is natural. She tells her fans that she's naturally skinny when she's obviously not. One Google search. That's all it took. I think at the time of this documentary coming out, a lot of people were under the pretense of, oh, it's, uh, it's Shane Dawson and he did Telecon and, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna save everybody. When, in reality, this is a much more serious situation which should not be handled by a YouTuber and even a YouTuber therapist. Oh, it shouldn't be handled by a YouTuber or a YouTuber therapist, should it not? Why do you have six videos on her then? Trying to help her, trying to get her all the help she needs. You just said, shouldn't be handled by a YouTuber. What is the point of your videos then? This fucking guy, man, honestly. And now naturally and understandably, people will say, well, you're making a video on it. Why can these people not make a video on it? And, you know, I feel like that's actually a fair comp to make. But also, number one, well, I'm, I'm not going to Eugenia Cooney's house and confronting her in person about this a few months after she got help. I, I'm not doing that. And even if that isn't the case, the main reason I'm making this video is because I genuinely believe that Eugenia Cooney's channel is dangerous for not only her, but also her fans out there, and we will get into that. So he goes on to try and combat the point I just made pretty much. His non-disputable evidence that he's so different from anyone else is because he didn't go there in person. Do you want a fucking medal? Like, you're still doing the same shit. And he also goes on to do the, oh, the young and impressionable fans argument, which I've always said is a fucking dumb argument. The parents should be doing their job of monitoring what the kids watch, if they're that young to be easily influenced by someone they see on a screen. And a lot of people call that a base take. It's, in my opinion, it's really fucking not. But I also have to clarify, this video will be instantly demonetized. It is a video speaking about ED that is not allowed to be monetized. And personally, I just don't want to monetize that. But I do have to say, I feel like these sensitive topics definitely get kind of halted in the algorithm. So if you could like this video, comment, and even subscribe to the channel to get this video pushed. Oh my fucking God. Yeah, guys. I I, this video is not going to get demonetized, and quite frankly, I don't want it to, because I don't want to profit off of some shit like this. But leave a like and subscribe. Like, you can't make this shit up, dude. Oh, I don't want to make money, I don't want to profit from this, but subscribe, leave a like and comment, which pushes my channel in the algorithm, basically earning me more money anyways. So while I might have not made money on this specific video, I'm still profiting from the fucking topic. Dumb cunt. We go to Eugenia's channel and go through her content and her thumbnails, and there are just a lot of body shots in these thumbnails, a lot of content about her body in general, such as cosplays, where her body is exposed. And for somebody like Eugenia, who in the past has vehemently gone against the fact that she has an ED and just said that she is naturally skinny and this is just the way she is born, I think that is very dangerous, not only for her, because she is convincing herself that. Once again, dipshit, that's how the fucking illness works. Like, this is literally his and all the T-channels fucking gotcha moment. Oh, she's convincing herself she is normal. That's the fucking disorder. What, do you want her to just switch it off? Well, if that was the case, she wouldn't have the fucking disorder, retard. Literally, once again, one Google search. All it took to refute their claim of that being concrete evidence as to why she's pro Anna. I don't understand how T-channels are fans, honestly. <laughs> and now I think moving away from this is a good segue to make into the topic of Eugenia Cooney's toxic positivity. 
Toxic positivity is the assumption, either by oneself or others, that despite a personal, emotional pain or difficult situation, they should only have a positive mindset. Now, naturally, especially in the case of Eugenia Cooney, where her physical and mental health is coming at a cost here, this isn't a good thing to follow. Being toxic positive really is just a very bad thing to follow because I feel like you're not willing to accept your issues and problems, and that can, when you're a YouTuber, spread onto your audience and cause problems and harmful situations like these. I mean, after doing that one quick Google search, th the rest of this video is literally pointless. He just keeps on going back to, she refuses to accept that she has a problem. Oh my God, she's gonna hurt her fan base. Actually, I know, but mate, you used to be a good YouTuber. It, you yourself should know that you look stupid right now. You should have been able to do one quick Google search. I mean, you literally did a Google search for toxic positivity. Why the fuck could you not quickly Google, what is anorexia? Literally, all your points against her would have been refuted, fucking shit on, kneeled on, cope, with that one Google search. Like, it genuinely baffles me how someone with 800,000 subscribers, I know, I'm shocked he even got that many with how shit his videos are, can't do... One quick Google search on a mental illness he so clearly doesn't fucking understand. I saw a really good video from a YouTuber called Pastel Bell, which I highly recommend you to watch. Okay, yeah, that's where we stop the video. I'm not watching any more of this because he fucking quoted and cites Pastel Bell's video as some sort of proof and shit as why she's pro Anna. We've made videos on Pastel Bell in the past before. I've already explained why she's a dumb bitch in two separate videos, actually. But yeah, the rest of his video is literally just re-going over points what Pastel Bell made, and I've already responded to those said points in my other videos. So I'll just link those two at the end of the video. <sighs> There's not really much else for me to say other than I never made. For, with an audience, how big your audience is, you do spout a lot of bullshit, and I think his audience just eats it up without fucking checking the shit. One because they're like 10 year old girls, two, because he just has his little flashy editing that distracts him from the points he's making that are actually just pure dog shit. Like literally, this guy's points could be fucking refuted by a fucking four year old, genuinely, they're that shit. But yeah, that's gonna be it for me for today's video, boys. I know, but if you do somehow see this video, I doubt it, but if you do, I don't hate you as a person, I just think you're fucking stupid, majority of the time. Do some fucking research for once, Stop chatting shit in your videos, you know, you ramble a bit too much, all your videos are 30 minutes, they could easily be 10 minutes. And if you're gonna go after mentally ill people for being mentally ill, at least do a little bit of research on said mental fucking illness. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today, boys. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe, we're on the road to 1k. That's been all from me. See you in the next one. Peace out, people. Goodbye.